Pronouns. Before we get into them in Spanish, let's talk about what they are in English. The pronoun for Keith is he. The pronoun for Keisha is she. And the pronoun for Keith and I, or anything and I, is we. Why do we have pronouns? Let me give you an example. Keith and I went to the store to get shoes. Keith and I got the shoes, then Keith and I purchased the shoes, and Keith and I walked out of the store. On the way back, Keith and I realized that Keith and I had purchased the wrong shoes. Now, you notice how redundant that gets. That's one of the reasons why we use pronouns. Now let's talk about what they are in Spanish. Here's what I want you to do. Draw one vertical line and then two horizontal lines. These are going to be our six boxes. You're going to see these a lot. Box one, two, three, four, five, six. In box number one, we're going to put the pronoun I. In Spanish, that is yo. Box number two is you. In Spanish, that is tu, with an accent mark over the U, and it starts from the left and goes up and to the right. In box number three, we have she, which is ella. A double L makes a Y sound. That's why it's ella. We also have he, which is el. Notice the accent mark. If you didn't have the accent mark, it means the. Also in this box, we have you, but this you is formal. So I'm going to put F M L. And then the word for that in Spanish is usted. Now in box number four, we is nosotros. In Spanish. And then y'all, which is short for you all. That's why we have the apostrophe there, which is taking the place of the OU. So you all, informal, of course. And the word for that is vosotros. That's box number five. In box number six, we have they. They can be expressed two different ways. It can either be ellas, when you have a group of all females, or it can be ellos, when it's all males, or it's a mixed group of males and females. There's also one more word in here, you. Here we go with you again, but it's on the plural side. This you is plural, and it's ustedes. Here are your pronouns. Pronombres. Here's your practice for pronouns. So on page one, here's what you're going to do. You see this English pronoun, and what you're going to do is write the Spanish. And so if I see he, I look over to see that that's box number three. So I go to the corresponding box three for the Spanish, and it's going to be el. So he is L. So that's what I'm going to write on this line. Make sure that you put your accent mark over that E. If you don't have that accent mark, it means the. Number two, we. I see we over here. We is in box number four. So I'm going to go down to box number four for the Spanish. We in Spanish is nosotros. So I'm going to write that word. Number three, you, formal. Let me find that. It's in box number three. Box one, two, three. You, formal, is usted. Now, on page number two, what you are going to do is identify the box number, which is very important. So, vosotros is right here. So, that is box number five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So just put a five there. Ella is box number three. So I'm going to write a three. Yo is box number one. 